Hi YouTube. In this video, we're going to review the Prismacolor Premier 18 piece graphite drawing set. Let's get to it. As you can see, it comes in a metal case, metal can, which is really nice. I like that very much. And you get a close look at the front here. It says uh, seven turquoise drawing pencils, four woodless graphite pencils, three water soluble graphite pencils, two erasers, there's one steel sharpener, and one sanding board. On the back, we can see some more stuff written here. Again, it lays out what's in here, and then it breaks it down into 8B, 6B, 2B, B, 2H, 4H, and 6H for the drawing pencils. The graphite pencils is 2B, 4B, 6B, 8B, which is great because there's no 4B in the turquoise drawing pencils, which I found that a little odd. But I guess we can go ahead and we can use the one of the woodless graphite pencils in its place because we do have a 4B there. And the water soluble graphite pencils, HB, 4B, and 8B. Then we see that the erasers are magic rub and a kneaded rubber. One still sharpened or one sandy board. And to read the comments back here, we can see that it says premium quality, professionally graded graphite pencils create rich velvety smooth lay down in a range of textures from very hard light to extremely soft dark woodless graphite pencils are extremely versatile when used on their side for broad strokes or sharpened to a point for detail and then we have water soluble graphite pencils Provide rich, dark marks that can be diluted with water to create a transparent wash. And then the rest of this is in a different language. Apparently it looks like it's French. Alright, well that's about it for the can. Now we're going to go and look at the inside here. And here we have the innards. Starting off, we have the sanding board. And what's interesting about this sanding board is that the sandpaper is mounted on a plastic paddle. Whereas the ones that I currently have, the sanding, the sanding papers are mounted on a particle board. Doesn't matter which it's mounted on, but I just thought it was interesting that this one comes in a nice little plastic type paddle. All right. Put that back. Then we have the turquoise um, drawing pencils, and you can see why they're called that because of the color, or perhaps the color is turquoise because they call it that. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Hmm. I'll let you ponder that. Then you can see that the writing is in a silver or chromish type plate. This one is the 6H pencil, as you can see. It looks like the set's called the 2273. That's their number. And it has a little kind of a dull silver cap with a red band on the back there. And it's a pretty standard semi-hex type shaped pencil. And as you can see, it comes in the 6H. Then you have the 4H to 2H, the B, then you have the 2B, the 6B, and the 8B. Uh, no 4B, and here we have more H's than I don't I particularly care for, but that's me personally. I 
I think, you know, 2H is plenty light enough. And if I need to go any lighter than that, why well, just kind of let off on the pressure? Then we have here the water soluble graphite. This one here says dark, and then it says 6B, I believe is what it says there. It's kind of hard to read. Maybe it's an 8B. Yeah, it's an 8. Sorry, 8B. So this is a water soluble, and we'll check that out. And then it has this one here, which is called light, and it's an HB, and it's also the water soluble. And then in between that, I guess, would be this one here. The medium, which is a 4B, looks like a 4B. It has the gold plating on here, lettering. And the um, paint on each one of these pertains to the darkness. So this one being the darkest one has the darkest color. It looks like a um, kind of a dark grayish color here. And that would be for the 8B dark. Then the medium one would be this one here, which is a medium gray for the 4B. And then you have the light gray, which is right here. And that one we determined to be the HB. So it makes it easy to determine which one is the dark, medium, and light. As opposed to these here, unfortunately, these drawing pencils, uh, they only have their markings as to the grade on one side of the pencil. So any other side, you can't tell what it is, which I find that to be unfortunate because there are pencils out there, drawing pencils, who mark it in more than one spot, making it unnecessary to have to keep turning the pencil to try to figure out what shade it is. As you can see, the shades are not showing now, so you can't really tell which one to pick up when you need it. And you have to go turn these over to figure out well, what kind of pencil is this? And then you can see, oh, 2H, B, 6B, so forth. Then here's the woodless pencils. These are the ones that are uh, all solid graphite. And it has some kind of a plastic coating of some sort that makes it easy to uh, handle without getting the graphite on your hands. And I imagine also uh, gives it a little bit of strength holding all that graphite together but if you drop these they will break in half or in even more more pieces than that this one here is the 8b you can see that woodless are pretty standard in that they're usually all black and this one has the gray lettering and it'll tell you that it's a woodless and then it tells you the grade in the back as you can see right there that's the 8b and then we have this one here, which is the 6B. And then we have the, the 4B. And then this one here is the 2B. So they're all in the Bs, Bs 2, 4, 6, and 8. Then we have the Magic Rub Eraser, which is right here. And it's in this plastic covering. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. That doesn't need to be on there. So there you go. Pla Magic rub. Hmm. I'm still here, so it's not really magic. But hey, what do you want? And the needed, which is really needed. Get it? Pun? Okay. But this is a needed rubber eraser, which every graphite artist should have plenty of so there you go and until you need it don't bother taking it out of the plastic you don't want it to dry up which is not a good thing for those and then we have here a metal sharpener the blade is made in Germany which it seems like a lot of them are made in Germany this one here the case itself, the metal case, is made in China. So you have the sharpener itself is in China, but the blade is made in Germany. And Germany makes the 
finest sharpener blades that I'm aware of for these hand sharpeners, which is nice. So we'll uh, we'll check that out in a minute. Okay, I guess the first thing I can do with this is to sharpen some pencils and then to do some shading so you can see uh, the grades as well as to see if the quality is there because if, if you've seen some of my videos uh, you may have noticed that uh, some are misgraded have the wrong grade number and uh, I would then have to contact the company and uh, some of them do replace the the product or the pencil which is nice and some just will plain ignore you okay so I'm gonna go ahead and test out the sharpener with this uh, looks like a 6H pencil and I'll just do one here in real time and then I'll go ahead and sharpen the rest of these off camera using my long point sharpener which I prefer so this is a regular standard point sharpener and with this sharpener you do need to stop it doesn't stop on its own but there you go a nice standard point on the pencil so that works just fine I'm just gonna put that there because don't need it and I'll go about now sharpening the rest of these pencils and then we will go through the shading part all right so I went ahead and um, <clears throat> I used the uh, Prismacolor turquoise pencils and I shaded these blocks that you see from here down to there. <clears throat> now, uh, if you take a look at this, just this right here on this side, what immediately stands out, this is 6H, this is 8B. What do you see that maybe does not seem right? Well, if you've noticed that this 6H is darker than this 4H, you'd be correct. It is darker than this 4H. That's this 6H pencil right here. And see, this is why I don't like the fact that they only put the thing on one side. You got to turn it over until you find it. There it is right there. Okay, so you see that 6H? <clears throat> and that's that right there and then that's 4H 2H B 2B then it goes to 6B and 8B remember there is no 4B in the turquoise which is something that I don't like either it should have a 4B so that that's another thing about this set that um, I'm not thrilled about however this is a problem and if you've watched other videos that I have made on pencil sets, drawing pencil sets, this is the third different pencil set where there was an issue in the uh, the grades not being what you would expect them to be. There, there was the Creta color set um, was one then there was that uh, castle, um, something or other, castle art, whatever, uh, set that also had a pencil that was not correct, and it should have been a completely different shade altogether. But you would expect a brand as well known as Prismacolor to have better quality control, and it's really wild that every that that so far I have three different pencil sets that has quality control issues and honestly that drives me crazy that um, that I would stumble upon so many of them now just to make sure you see over here I went ahead and I did it again and it's the same so I just wanted to to do it twice so that you can see that it's not a, a, a you know a one-off thing where maybe I was like going because I don't do that 
I, I have nothing to gain by doing that. Uh, one person commented that um, I was putting more pressure on one than the other and that's why this was this and that and I was trying to be deceptive. There's no reason for me to do that. I have personally no no qualms or anything with any particular manufacturer other than Derwent only for the Onyx pencils that I spent $75 on and they claimed it was like a 9B and it's not even like a 2B. Um, <clears throat> but still, every one of these sets that I test, I test them the same. And I want them all to pass. I want all my pencils, because these, these are pencil sets I paid for with my money and there's nothing worse than having a bunch of pencil sets that are not what I expect for me to do my own pencil art with. So it's not like somebody gave me these so I could just go ahead and tear them apart or whatever. And that is not my intention, but I have to give you the exact findings. Otherwise, what's the purpose of watching these videos if I'm not going to tell you exactly what I see? If I give you a fluff piece on, for example, you, if someone sent me this and then I've got to like tiptoe around saying anything negative about it, forget it. Uh, anybody who, who, who were, was to send me something, which a couple of people have in the past, um, I'm, I'm going to point out what I see. And, and that's just the way it is because uh, I have to, you have to have integrity. And what's the point? You know, I don't want to have smoke blown up my skirt when I'm trying to find something that I want to buy. So anyway, to get back on point, this 6H pencil is too dark, which tells me that either it's poor quality manufacturing. If, if I had another set and the 6H did the same exact thing, then their grading, their mixture is off, and that's not a good thing. But if this is a mistake of labeling, well, unfortunately, it's bad quality control uh, that I end up getting three different pencil sets with one pencil, or in the case of the Creta color, I believe there was two pencils that were graded out of order. They had the wrong markings on them and everything. So I did it twice right there and there, and I bring it up so you can see. There's the 6H, then it goes to 4H. Notice it gets lighter to 4H. It shouldn't do that. And then there's the 6H again. Look at that. Look at that. It's the same thing. I just did it twice because <clears throat> I wanted to uh, make sure that uh, all things being equal. Looks like I lost my light here. There we go. Sorry about that. So anyway, now you may be wondering, well, what's on the right-hand side here? Well, what I like to do is, is I like to use a pencil set that I have here that is one of my top favorites. And this is the Mitsubishi Hayuni. You hear me talk about it all the time because, you know, it is a very, very high quality pencil set. I highly recommend anybody to anybody to get this pencil set. It's worth the money. I think it's fantastic. Now remember that it goes all the way at the 10B from 10H to 10B which is which is the, the most extreme uh, grades which I love. It's like the most complete set of grades. Uh, but I'll just tell you though that the top like the 10B, 9B, 8B 7B. Uh, the, none of these contain any carbon. This is all 100% graphite. So uh, if you you want carbon in your most darkest pencils, then you would go with the Stadler Mars Lumograph 100s, which they add carbon in their 7B, 8B uh, pencils. Okay, and and. Uh, Mine only goes up to 8B with the Stadlers, so I don't know if there is maybe a 9 or 10. There may be. I'd have to go look. Um, but I'm happy with an all-graphite set because if I want carbon mixed in my graphite, I'll go with the General's 9XXB 
or I can, you know, go and you just grab my Stadler and use that. But uh, other than that, this this here is is a fantastic set. So I use this to compare with other pencil sets. It's 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 like my uh, it's like the foundation to grade everything else against because every pencil is smooth. The quality of the graphite is really creamy. Uh, and the gradients from 2H, 6H, 10H, all the way to the 10B is exactly as it should be uh, in, in, the, um, in the grade scale. It, it goes from very light to very dark. Um, and even though it is the only pencil set that I've purchased from them, uh, you know, I can't say for sure that you don't find one that it where they messed up and mess up one pencil so that's my disclaimer is that uh, this particular pencil set they're they're all correct but that's not to say that maybe someone buys one of these and one of them is not correct which makes it a problem such as this um, particular pencil set but I find it odd that I, I seem to be running into too many pencil sets that you have a pencil that just isn't right and, and I find that to be disturbing so um, in, in the case of this Prismacolor uh, 18 piece set I'm frustrated that it doesn't have a 4B and I'm also frustrated that the 6H really is not a that's not a 6H okay that that acts more like a 3H if we had a 3H because it, you know, it could be, yeah, it's just under this 2H here, but then again, here's another issue. Take a look at this. This is what my Mitsubishi 6H looks like, and that's their 6H. Okay. So I don't care if they want to start from here, but then everything after that should go darker, and it's not. Okay. So that's wrong, and that's here. All right. Then you'll notice that it goes darker 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 and so forth all the way down to the 8b pencil it's beautiful gradients I, I just absolutely love that well you can notice here that of course this 6h is way darker than this 6h for you know reasons i already mentioned bad quality now the 4h's are, are pretty much on par in tone there you can see that they they are very close i don't expect them to be exact but they're very very close if you take a look at those, I'll bring it up close for you if you like, and you can compare. Matter of fact, I'll do that with, with the whole thing. So there's your 6H, okay, the Prisma Color is on the left, and the Mitsubishi Hayuni is on the right. There you can see those two uh, negligible differences. But now look at this one. The 2H gets really dark again, so it's a big jump from 4H to 2H. Where here it's a gradual jump up. So you can see a big difference there. Then we get into the B. Okay, so we're getting closer into comparison here. Then we got the 2B. Then we have the 6B. Then we have the 8B. All right, so the big issues seem to be the 6H is incorrect. That should not be a 6H pencil. That's wrong. There's something wrong with that pencil there. It's marked wrong. And the 2H pencil, the grade of this 2H is really, really dark in comparison to what it really should be, which is more like this here, closer to this, because when you're going from 4H, which is pretty much the same, to 2H, you should have just this much of a gradient change, but that's okay, you know. Uh, I'm not going to squabble over it because this 2H is lighter than this B, which is fine, which is lighter than this 2B, which is lighter than the 6B, than the 8B. So the problem is right here. This is the big qualm, and this is just, there's a difference in, in how, they, um, how they prefer to uh, label a, a mixture as 2H, whereas this one is darker uh, than this one here. But anyway, as long as, as, long as the, it's the gradient goes from light to dark, I'm not going to squabble too much over that. You just need to draw your own patches of graphite uh, and mark them so you'll know what your set is providing you 
when you are going to draw. Now that's enough on these pencils, these turquoise pencils, which you already know I'm not real, real, real thrilled about the 6H. So the quality control I'm already having issues with. Now, moving on to the next thing here, and that is these woodless pencils. <clears throat> now this here is the 8B, so let me get them all out here. It's 8B, it's 6B, and we have a 4B, which is good because we need a 4B. This set doesn't have one in the turquoise. And 2B. So <clears throat> let's see how these match up. And you got to be real careful dropping these on the table because they will break if you're not careful. And that's, the, that's the negative about these solid graphite sticks is that they will break if you drop them on a solid surface um, high enough up, of course. It's kind of like glass in a way. Okay, so this is this is the 2B. I'm just going to put it right next to the the 2B that's already there for both pencils, just so we have something uh, to compare it with. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Okay, and it goes on nice and smooth, which pretty much most of the woodless pencils that I have tested on this channel are smooth, and I like that for woodless. So they they tend to be smooth in general because you got a lot of graphite here. There's just a lot of graphite. All right, so there's your 2B, and it certainly looks like a 2B um, in comparison to the other 2Bs. Now here's a 4B. We have nothing to compare it with here, so I'm just going to put it off to the side here. This is going to be the 4B, and all we care about is that this 4B is a little darker than this 2B. Otherwise, what's the point, right? All right. And believe it or not, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on this at all. I hold everything on the very end here so that I don't. But the graphite just comes flowing off. So I don't really have to do a lot of work. It just comes off all by itself. Okay, it is darker than the 2B. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. It's comparison to the 6B, whether it's the same or darker or lighter, because it, it has a different kind of coverage. It seems to be a little more covering than the other pencils are. Let's see what the 6B does. The, 6, the 6B, see that should be that one right there. The 6B should be darker than that one. So let's try that. And I can see right away that it is. So that's a quick one right there. All right, so that's 6B. Wow, that's a really nice 6B. Now you can see that that's instantly darker than that. It's actually darker than the pencil 6Bs too, which is something that I, I expect. If you've seen my Desert Man drawing, um, where the man has a really, really dark face, I actually used a 6B woodless pencil for a lot of his face. And uh, interesting enough, it, it does tend to come out darker than its cousin, the wood shafted pencils. So uh, I do like the fact that the wood list does tend to give you even darker, richer darks for a graphite pencil, even though you still have to deal with, of course, shine. If you, you know, with the, with the darkest you go, uh, it's still really nice how smooth it goes on and how dark it makes uh, everything. And here's an 8B, and hopefully it's going to be even darker than all these. Looks like this one was chipped a little bit, but I should be able to draw with it. So let's see what we get here. Yeah, that goes on really dark. I don't know if it's darker than that 6B. So far, not, but let's see. And uh, you may be able to tell that there's a lot of graphite breaking off here. In other words, there's a lot of, you know, a blow it off or whatever. Just careful don't spit on your paper when you're doing it because <clears throat> that's going to cause you problems. Okay, and that's the 8B right there. Now you can compare and looking at it from here, yeah, I guess, yeah, mm -hmm, kind of, yeah, might be a little darker. I don't know. Yeah, I'll call it. If anything, it fills in the paper a little bit better, but there you go. That's your 8B there. There's your 6, there's your 4, and there's your 2B. And you can see that it's kind of a different dark, like the Mitsubishi dark. I love the Mitsubishi dark, 
compared to this 8B, it doesn't look as good as this. This is a really nice one here. And then this one looks just very graphic, graphite-y, you might say. Just, I mean, look at all that coming off on my fingers. So, anyway, so you have to experiment, see what you like. But there you go with the woodless pencils. Now, the last thing we have are these water-soluble. And I have to admit, I've never used a water-soluble pencil. So we're going to kind of uh, experiment here at the same time. And I think what happens is you... I think you just kind of draw with it. Let's see, here's the light pencil. And it feels really nice. It's smooth. And this is a uh, HB soluble. Okay. Alright, that's the that's the HB, and then the, and they call it light. Then the medium is what they call the 4B is the medium. So I'll do that one. I always stop to turn my pencil around a little bit, kind of keep a point as best I can. Give it a little bit more there. That's the 4B. It's not a big jump in darkness from an HB to a 4B, but this is a different kind of graphite. So, and this one here is called Dark 8B. So let's do that one. And I have to hold this more in the center than the edge. And if you don't guess why, it's because the points are so short on here. After I sharpen it with one of my longer point sharpeners, I can hold it back here because I'll have more lead. Here, I'd be hitting wood. See, I wouldn't be able to do anything with that. See that? So I have to come up to it like this, but I'm still not adding any pressure to it. Just in case someone out there is wondering, I'm not adding any extensive pressure to it. I'm just holding it where the, con where the graphite can make contact to the paper itself. All right. Well, that completes all the pencils in this set. So now, let's go get some water here. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get some some earbuds, dip, get them moist, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to smear it. Okay, so I have these three earbuds here that they've been dipped in water, so they're all moist. So I'm going to do one with each, and let's see what, what happens here if you... Okay. Yep, kind of wipes up and you can move it around like watercolor. Look at that. Okay, so there you go. Some interesting graphite watercolor action going on there. And I'll just move it up a little bit so that you can see it clear. Okay, do the other one here. Yeah, it just turns into it turns into a graphite watercolor. Kind of interesting. Never played with this stuff before, but I can I could see the the various options that you can have using this approach, and then the eight B is right there, and so. You can see what's going on here. It turns into kind of a watercolor, graphite watercolor, if you will. All different shades. So I have my light, my medium, and my my dark. Okay. All right. Now the curious thing is, I'm going to take uh, <clears throat> the clean end of the moist thing here. That's this side here. I'm going to try it on regular graphite. What would happen if I did this on regular graphite? Is, is there anything really special about this, this wet graphite? Let's see. Here's regular graphite. Hmm. 
Well, that's interesting. And so, there you go. That's the Prismacolor Premier, the 18-piece graphite drawing set. And uh, I hope you like this review. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. And thanks again for watching. Much appreciated.